learners welcome to nios studio today we are going to start our new topic that is stuffing today we will learn meaning of stuffing importance of stuffing stuffing is a part of human resource management and the process of stuffing let's begin with the meaning of stuffing stuffing refers to the managerial function of employing and developing human resource for carrying out the various managerial and non-managerial activity in an organization it is all about employment and developing the people so that they can work according to the requirement of the organization it involves determining the manpower requirement second the methods of recruitment third steps for selection fourth the methods of training and developing the people for the various position created in the organization let's talk about why staffing is important in the organization getting the right people for the right job at the right time at the right place Yes, it is important because staffing manager is the person who hire the person whenever it requires from the organization. Second, it improves organizational productivity. Yes, it improves organizational productivity because by give, providing training and development to the people, we enhance their productivity. So they efficiently work in the organization. Third is, providing job satisfaction to the employees keeping their morale high even by staffing only we can satisfy our employees in the organization through keeping their morale high fourth is it maintains harmony in the organization staffing manager provides work according to the employees abilities and skills so it automatically maintains the harmony in the organizations and people work efficiently in the organization it also maintains peace in the organization and the last importance is it also improves employees efficiency by providing proper training and development staffing as a part of human resource management hrm involves procuring developing and maintaining so these are the functions of hrm it involves procurement of the employees development of the employees maintain it for a longer period in the organization next it also manages human element of the enterprise human resource manager the main work is to manage human element of the enterprise and they manage their human elements by knowing their skills knowledge talents creative abilities and potential and motivate them and get work done by their knowledge skills and talents so let's start with the function of human resource management human resource management involves all the functions like human resource planning recruitment selection training motivation remuneration and welfare so these are the functions of human resource manager staffing as a part of human resource management yes human resource management is a broader concept whereas staffing is a part of it staffing is narrower and the human resource management is a broader concept staffing is just talk about employing and developing the people but if we talk about human resource management it is never limited to that function only it also optimize the work of the employees it is that part of management process which develops and manage the human element of the enterprise considering the knowledge skills creative abilities talents and potential for contributing to the organizational objectives that's why hrm is a broader concept hrm includes human resource planning recruitment selection placement and training of workers performance appraisal motivation of workforce remuneration of workers 
and welfare of the employees. So these are the functions which involves in human resource management. That's why staffing is just a part of human resource management. Let's go to the another topic that's staffing process. It involves certain steps those are manpower planning, job analysis, recruitment, selection, placement, induction, training and development, performance appraisal, compensation and promotion and transfer. These are the certain steps which goes Y sequence. So let's start with the manpower planning. Manpower planning is the process of estimating the manpower requirement of an organization. Yes, it involves two analysis. Number one is workforce analysis and another one is workload analysis. Workforce analysis is the estimation of how many people is available in the organization. So it basically talks about the supply of manpower. But when we talk about workload analysis, it reveals the number and the type of people required to perform various jobs and achieve organizational objectives. So it basically talks about that how many people we required uh, or we can say what is the demand of the manpower for the organization. Next step is job analysis. Job analysis involves two factors. Number one is job description. Another one is job specification. Job description means identification of each job in terms of duties and responsibility. So job description is that process where human resource manager identifies that what are the roles, responsibilities a person supposed to do in his job. Second is job specification. Job specification means determination, the ability and skills that are required for performing the job. Job specification is that process where human resource manager identify that what kind of specification or what kind of abilities and skills are required to perform a particular job. Third step is recruitment. Recruitment is that process of searching the prospective candidates and stimulating them to apply for the job in the organization. Or we can say recruitment is the process of creating a pool of candidates. If we talk about their objective, the main objective of recruitment is to attract potential employees with the necessary characteristics or qualification in the adequate number for the jobs available. So the main objective of the recruitment is to attract the people for the vacant position. So if we say in a brief manner, it is that process of finding and attracting suitable applicants for the employment. Yes, there are two sources by which an organization can recruit the people. The number one is internal source and the second one is external source. Internal source of recruitment means filling the required position from within the organization. That's an internal source of recruitment. But if we talk about external source of recruitment, it means filling the required position from the outside the organization. So let's start with the internal source. Internal source of recruitment involves two factors. Number one is promotion. Number second is transfer. So by promotion or transfer, organization can fill their vacant position or they can ask people to apply for the vacant position. Promotion means upgrading of an employee to a higher position carrying higher status, pay and responsibility. Yes, promotion is that process where an employee upgrade to the higher position by higher status, higher pay and the higher responsibility. And the second one is transfer. Transfer means shifting an employee from one job to another without any change in the position. 
So these are the, are the two sources by which we can hire or the organization can hire or attract people for the vacant position. If we talk about so their advantage, so internal source advantage is it is easier for managers to fill the vacancies as they are conversant with the abilities and skills of the subordinates and have records of their performance. So it can be an advantage of internal source of recruitment. But if we talk about the disadvantage, so yes, there is a disadvantage. The disadvantage is the organization is deprived of the benefit of inducing fresh blood into the system. Yes, if the organization hire people from internal source, so yes, it lacks the fresh blood into the system. Now, let's move on to the another source that's the external source of recruitment. So, external source of recruitment involves media advertisement, unsolicited application, employment exchange, recruitment at the factory gate, and educational institutions. So, these are the sources involved in external recruitment. Media advertisement. Media advertisement means advertisement in the newspaper, professional journals, televisions, or internet. So, by giving information in the advertisement, organization hire or attract people for the vacant position. Second is employment exchanges. Employment exchanges means the consultant agency which brings together job seekers and the employer who are looking for employees. So, by consultant agency, organization can also attract people or also ask them to apply for the vacant position. Third is educational institutions. This is also involves an in external source. Educational institution means the campus interview. Even organization maintain a close liaison with the universities and educational institutes to fill their vacant position. Next is unsolicited application. Many reputed business organizations keep a database of unsolicited or uncalled applicant in their offices. They contact the candidates when they need them. So by solicited applications, also organization fill their vacant position. Recruitment at factory gate. This is found mainly in case of factory workers to be recruited on daily wages. Such workers gather in the morning at the factory gate to serve as casual workers. A notice is placed on the notice board of the enterprise specifying the details of job available. So this recruitment is this source of recruitment is basically for, for the unskilled or semi-skilled workers. Next, if we talk about their advantage, so yes, there is an advantage. Now, the advantage is it provides a wide choice from among a large number of external candidates from which employees may be recruited. So, this advantage is lacking in the internal source of recruitment. Second is disadvantage. If we talk about the disadvantage, so yes, it takes long time and a lot of money has to be spent on advertisement and processing of application. So, these are the advantages and disadvantages of external source of recruitment. Yes, what we have learned today, meaning of staffing. I told you before also that staffing is that process where we get the people and train them according to the vacant position. So, staffing is employing and developing people so that they can work efficiently and effectively in the organization. And But second is importance of staffing. Staffing means that what we have learned, staffing is important in the organization because by staffing only, we hire the skillful people in the organization. At the same time, we provide a good training and development to the people. Third, we enhance their job satisfaction. 
we enhance their morale and at the same time we make them skillful so that they can work for the organization efficiently and effectively. Third is staffing as a part of human resource management. Yes, I told you before also that staffing is narrower. At the same time, human resource management is a broader in scope. Staffing is just employing and giving training to the people, but when we talk about human resource management, it works also for the optimization, or we can say that it also manage or try to retain people for the longer period. So the human resource manager is, is not just specific with the staffing function, it also extend to the another level or we can say it also sort out the employee's problem, complaints, at the same time analyze their potential so that they can promote them accordingly or we can say it also helps to optimize them accordingly. Next, process of staffing. Process of staffing, yes, I, uh, I told you that it it involves certain steps. Number one is human resource planning, second is recruitment, third is selection, then placement, induction, and training and development, and performance appraisal. So let's read one by one. Human resource planning. Human resource planning is process of staffing in which we identify that how many people we have in the organization and how many people we required for the vacant position or for the future perspective. So by human resource planning, we analyze or we determine that how many vacant position is there in the organization. And human resource planning involves job analysis. I mean, in the process of human resource planning only, we do job analysis. And job analysis involves job description and specification. Job description means identification of duties and responsibilities which a person is supposed to do while doing his job. But when we talk about specification, job specification, it, it identifies the specification or the eligibility or ability which is required to perform a vacant position. So job analysis is we can say it, it can be a part of human resource planning. Then the next step is recruitment. Recruitment means where we create a pool of candidate. That means we at, where the organization attract people, the skillful people, the suitable people for the vacant position. So that's a recruitment. Then the third step is selection. Selection means the certain Selection involves certain steps by which people gone through with all the steps and organization can have a suitable candidate for the vacant position. So selection, we can say that recruitment is a positive process whereas selection is a negative process because by recruitment we create a pool of candidate. We never eliminate people but when we talk about selection, there we, elim we start eliminate people to get the right candidate. So we can say it is a negative process or we can say that selection is a negative process and recruitment is a positive process. Third is induction or placement. Once a person appoint for the vacant position, then organization do their placement formalities so we, that Placement formalities is known as placement where, where the organization instruct or tell about their jobs, their roles and responsibility and the whole hierarchy. Next step is induction. Induction or orientation. Induction is that process where organization give introduction about the organization and make the people familiar to the organization. So these are the functions of staffing. There are many other functions like training and development, performance appraisal, compensation, welfare activities. So these all are the function of staffing or we can say human resource management. Thank you.